Hello everybody, George Kenner. I'm actually filming this on the 4th of July and I'm getting ready to go to a party where I'm actually gonna deliver this laser to a school teacher. This is the Latitude 5 watt system. I'll put a link exactly to the one down in the comments and I'm gonna deliver it to a school teacher because when I get these in for review, I do not keep them. That's one of the conditions under which I will review them. I take and give them to somebody else. One of the previous ones I did, and I do happen to keep one for myself so I can continue doing the videos with different projects. But when I get additionals to review, I give them away. The last one went to a retiring engineer that had always wanted to work with a laser but never had one. This is a great introductory tool. So how did it arrive? And I'm gonna, I give most things a packaging grade. This is how it showed up. It's not beautiful, but it's absolutely more than adequate. It was fully packaged. The foam and everything was really good on this one. No damage to the system. Now, in general terms, what I try and do is I, I go through the software systems that are supported by this. This one happens to be supported by Laser Gerbil. And I'll put a link to that down in the comments. This is actually not my favorite of all the controller systems, but it, it is one that comes. And what people need to realize is these, I'll call them introductory lasers, are great learning tools. But what happened to me was I purchased one and now I'm shopping for a, um, another laser. I actually took and bought colored tape and put it down on my floor because I want a CO2 laser really bad. There's more coming up, so you may want to subscribe on subscribe to find out which one I do and all things laser that I'm working with, along with my Stepcraft M1000 CNC machine. I'm just trying to build out my garage so that it's great. So um, what I'll do is I'll go to the end product and then step backwards. This was one of the end products that I made. Um, it's a nicely cut cork coaster and it came right off of this five watt laser now one of the things that i want to do is i want to make sure that the laser has enough power and then responds to the program but again if you're looking at buying one of these many of them are very close in quality but in cost they're a little bit different this is one of the lowest prices i've seen and surprisingly it did amazingly well in the limited tests that i put it through there are some, I'll call it accuracy issues. When I was running over and doing one of the first patterns, there were a bunch of lines. I was able to change a little of this in the program, but again, back to the program. The value of this is in learning the program. You can get a satisfactory, more than satisfactory commercial grade product out of these, but you have to learn the program. Some people would go to these and say, this quality of laser has absolutely no value. Why would you buy one? Well, if you have a limited budget and you want to get the learning process started, these are great options. There are some issues and I'll call them with, uh, the accuracy of the system. This is the, the plate that goes underneath and spaces the laser from your material. It's stated to be two millimeters. I measured it just to find out and to be able to show you that accuracy is not always exactly what you're gonna get out of say a $15,000 laser against a couple hundred dollar laser. This measured out with one side of the tape at like 1.75. So it says the optimal focal distance on this laser is two millimeters and then they give you something at 1.75. So which is it? Reasonable expectation, people. You're not going to get a very, very expensive laser for $200, but you will get something that will work if you work with it and you learn the software. These are excellent software learning tools. This one adjusts very easily with just a finger screw up and down so you can adjust it for the height of the material. Say you wanted to put a box, each one of the corners adjusts up and down so that you can level the machine perfectly. Um, there's a lot of thought that goes into it. It comes with a pair of laser goggles. Now, I'm gonna do a video in the future about laser goggles. These are an exact duplicate pair, um, or appear to be, is one that I got with a superior value laser. So in, in certain respects, you know, like you're getting a, a 
high quality accessories compared to what come with other entry level lasers. But we're gonna go into these. I wouldn't want anyone to use these exclusively or even watch the laser if they don't have to without researching what a good pair of laser glasses cost. A good pair of laser glasses cost as, almost as much as one of these um, machines. So how could they manufacture the highest grade laser glasses to do this? So if you don't have to watch the laser, by all means, you know, be careful. Assembly. Assembly was really very easy on this. When I opened the, the box, I was a little bit, you know, concerned or frustrated that I wasn't going to be able to do the review as there were no instructions in the box. I was like, what am I going to do? You know, I, I know how these work. I've put them together. It's going to be a piece of cake for me, but how do I demonstrate it to someone else? Well, on the very front of the machine, there's actually a code. Uh, you, uh, what do they call that code? A little square code. You put your phone on it, you scan it, and it takes you directly to the instructions. I found the instructions more than adequate. Um, the pictures for exactly how to do it, and what you do is you assemble these two rails and these two feet. This gantry comes all in one piece, all assembled. The only thing you have to do is connect these wires. Then come to the back, you put the back feet and the support bar on, you're completed. It was a matter of... 15 minutes and that was being confused about exactly where the instructions were to get this going. I already had laser gerbil installed on my computer from another program. I was up and, and testing very quickly. Now, one of the things that this laser does not have is a cross mark to give you the beginning orientation place of the laser. You almost have to trace it. Depending upon the laser program, you'll get fine lines as though there was a cut line when it traces. You need to turn that power way, way down to get it to frame the piece on the material. That's a little bit of a disadvantage, but again, you're getting a, a tool that will aid you learn the, the basics of laser cutting and engraving programming for a matter of a couple hundred dollars. So would I buy this? Uh, absolutely. The, if I had known everything that I had known at the point in time that the software was going to be the biggest challenge, not really the machine, I, I may have started with one of these. I have a tendency to start with far more than I need. Um, I'm even out looking to buy a CO2 laser, which is far more than I need, but I love this stuff. I have the laser addiction and tools like this can give it to you. Be very cautious when buying one of these because there may be a more expensive one right around the corner in your future. I'm trying to think of anything else. It came with all the tools and everything necessary to assemble it. It even came with some zip ties, but I don't know where you'd put them. The, Cable management is adequate for this quality of laser. It never got in the way of the working space. The, there is a little bit of flex in this, a little bit more than I think is probably optimal, which would affect some of the accuracy. But again, this tool is about learning. And I know that two little boys and a school teacher are going to have an absolute great time trying to figure this out. If you have any questions, my email address is always down in the bottom of the comments. I try and flash it up here on the screen also. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. I've got a lot more content coming. I wish each and every one of you the best and happy 4th of July. Take care.